Uh, for you, Arn, if evolution explains the origins of our morality, does that mean that our morality is hardwired into us? If so, does that imply that morality can, to an extent, be considered objective? And if that's correct, to what extent can social pressures or norms affect our morality? Okay. Well, I'd intend to explore this a little bit more in depth, but we have calls coming in. So, It'll as take far a while as, before they get queued. As far as whether morality is hardwired into us, I think it is an it's a easily verifiable fact that empathy uh, is largely hardwired into us, or at least most of us. But the problem with it being objective is that... In variety and you know, variety happens in any population, and there are going to be deviant behaviors. Uh, in some degree, all of us exhibit deviant behaviors, probably in every possible direction. So I can't say that anything is hardwired. What is hardwired today, or what seems to be dominant in the population, might completely change if uh, if the factors change sufficient to make it so. Now, the next question was that, that he. Asked. I got a better way to describe my philosophy. If there is no God, why be moral? Well, whether there is a God or whether there is not a God, this is my philosophy, my personal philosophy of life. I believe that there is a God, that Jesus is Lord, but I'm struggling with questions and doubts. And where is God to answer my questions? Basically, I'm a happy go lucky person. I want to love everybody. I want everybody to love me. I want to be happy. I want to be complete. I want to, I, I want to feel like I'm complete. And when I'm in this mindset, I can take a lot of shit. I guess. Yeah, 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 I take that back. If I was complete in myself, if I had my childhood home, if I was a good-looking guy, if I knew my elbow to wrist for longer, then super, Canadian supermodel, no, then Becker's Terry Farrell. She, I don't know the name of her. That's the actress's name. She played the bartender. The bartenderess on Becker. If I knew my elbow wrist was longer than her, if I knew that she thought I was a good looking guy, if I had my little world intact, I could take a lot of shit from the haters. I'd want to love, I would love, I would want to help people fulfill their dreams. I would buy, I, if, I, if I had money, I'd help people who were poor. Not, not to be a good person, but because I makes me, God makes me happy to see others happy. Let me tell you something. On the other side, if I'm not complete, and I'm not, I do not feel I'm a complete person because I'm not a good looking guy. I don't have my childhood home. I don't. I'm. I'm not getting uh, tens of thousands of hits to my videos on social media. When I feel like this, I go into survival mode. And when I'm in survival mode, I want I want to destroy I want to kill my enemies. If there's a way to do that and get away with it. Only as a last resort, but hey, if I can kill, if I can go out into the hood and this big bad gangster, and I know he's gonna attack me if I go into the hood, but I also know I'm gonna kill him in self-defense, I'd go. I'd pack my bag and I'd go. I'd play the scared victim when the cops took me in for questioning after I killed him in self-defense. Once all the fire died down, once I was found not guilty, once they blew it off, I'd party. Because I am giving, I am giving to myself what I ain't got from this life. If I'm in survival mode, if I have to steal to keep from choosing between food and gas, or between gas and food, and being able to go out and party at the beach in the weekend to see the top notch girls, I'll steal when I'm in survival mode. When I'm, when I'm in survival mode, it makes me feel complete. It makes me feel totally satisfied. 
but I can fuck over people who are better than me. But I can fuck over my enemies. That that makes me feel like a man. That may think that makes me feel the only way I can describe it, that makes me feel as satisfied as the fat woman who ate a chicken dinner after the church service at a homecoming dinner at church. I feel as good as, as not better than she. When I'm in my normal mode, I want to love people. I want my enemy to change and become my friends. But when I'm in survival mode, I want my enemies to die of cancer. Businesses that uh, don't sympathize with my desire to measure arms that kick me out because I'm strange. I want, if there's a way to do it and get away with it, I'd like to break in and steal everything they got and make it mine. Or better yet, what I would want more than that is the people who kick me out of that business. I'd like them to die of cancer. Or, but I still that would not that not make me feel as feel as thrilled if I could beat them one on one. And I was able to beat this ass in the fist fight. Use, use nothing but my hands and feet and my body, my headbutts. That's what would make me. That's what would make me feel thrilled if I could kick that ass one on one in a fist fight. So, do you like me better in survival mode, or do you like me better in my normal mode? Well, help me fulfill my dreams, and you can get the me that's in normal mode, happy go lucky mode. The one who wants to make the world a better place because you see my, my world is a good place. But don't expect me to give everybody else their slice of the pie when I have not yet had my slice of the pie. It don't work that way. I'm selfish. I'm angry. If only I was a good looking guy, if only I had my head full of hair. If only if only the hot top notch girls thought I was took top notch and good looking. If only I could not go places without female spot and stroke my ego. I'd be so happy. If I could just have this for like 10, 20 years. If I was in survival mode, and I knew that I went to New York City, I'd have a running with someone like John Dodger or Pablo Escobar, someone as bad, but maybe even better than them, that I would be able to somehow, against our odds, kill this guy, and people would look at me in amazement and utter admiration of being able to do so. I'm taking, I'd, I'd, I'd pack my bag and we'd go, I'd take a vacation to New York City. Because if I, as a loser, I'm not a good looking guy, I'm not a social media celebrity, none of my songs are making me money. I can't make money on YouTube live stream. So, if I could kill this John Gotti or Papa Escobar and, and do it in such a way that I don't have to go to prison. Damn right I'd do it. Anything's better than being the nameless, faceless, average, middle class loser. I don't give a damn. So what? I don't give a damn if I have to pay for in the afterlife. If I'm not saved, I'm going to go to hell anyways. So what? If my hell is not as hot as it could be if I got what I wanted, I'd still be going. So fuck you too. But I'm not. I'm not worried about going to hell. That I'm saved. I'm so angry at the world. I'm angry at God. I'm angry at myself. I'm angry at this body. I'm angry. I cannot exercise without bodily pains. I'm not talking about the pain, the uh, delayed onset muscle soreness that comes and goes after a day. I'm talking about pains that hang on. It would make me so feel so good if I kill if I if I could kill someone like John Gotti or Pablo Escobar. 
and be expected by the tough guys. Some are tough myself, you see. But I'd much rather be a, I'd, I'd much rather just be a hot, good looking guy. But the long form, my little world, I'd be pushed around a little bit by people like John Gotti. I would not like it. I still want to kill him, but I can, I can, I can deal with it. I just want to be a good looking guy. I just want my song to make me, I just want 10 to 10, 100,000 views on every one of my videos. Especially my song videos. Is that too much to ask? Because if it is, I don't give a good goddamn. I'll steal it.